Hey everyone, it's Jacob from the Native Shark Dev team, and today I want to show you our flashcard overhaul, our flashcard browser overhaul. Uh, before we look at the new, let's take a look at some of the problems with the current one. A couple of issues that stand out immediately when you look at it is there's no easy way to filter your decks, which is a problem for people with a lot of them. There's also not an easy way to know which decks are active or not active. And there's more problems too. If we go into one of these decks, you can see there's no real quick way to know how to manage this deck. I see that I can edit the name and maybe change the color here. I can create a new card here, but I don't know where to go to activate, delete, or change my new flashcards if it is active. It's not natural to know that I have to scroll to the bottom of the page. So let's see how we've changed this with our new browser. The first thing that stands out is the sidebar that we have now. The sidebar shows you all of your decks and allows you to quickly sort through them. You'll notice that as you search, the decks that match float to the top and all the other decks kind of fade into the background. You'll also notice that it's really easy to know here which decks are active and which decks are not by this active tag. If we go into one of these decks, you'll see that all of the flashcard decks on the side stay visible so that I could quickly jump from any one deck to the other. Um, this is helpful if you're trying to find something or if you've set aside time to go through and manage all of your flashcard decks. Inside of a deck, I don't have to wonder now where I have to go to manage things. I can quickly see here, oh, this deck is activated. I'm getting 20 new cards a day. I can create a new card and I can click manage here where I can review, edit, update my daily new, deactivate, or delete the deck entirely. If we move down the page now, you can see that we have a new filter section. Before, we just had the ability to search via text, but uh, with how much content we have on Native Shark, we realize it's more important to be able to kind of narrow your search quickly. So you can search via text like you could before, which is a little bit smarter now. You can search by uh, English keyword, for example, for kanji. You could also sort by status. So I can show reviewing or archived. I can show which phase, which unit and which mastery level. This can be useful, for example, if you wanted to see maybe all the kanji that you learned in phase one, unit 33, you can quickly jump to those. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and actually look at the results themselves for the flashcards. We wanted to show more pertinent information to you uh, than we were before. And so now you can see what you could before. So in this case, the kanji, the meanings, but you can also see where it came from. And this is important because it helps you ground kind of where this information is if you need to go back and review the lesson or anything like that. You could also see your mastery level, whether or not you have archived or unarchived the flashcard. And if you're currently reviewing it, when the next review is. You can also see that for an archived, there is no next review. However, if you are learning new cards, it says not yet started. So there's an important distinction here letting you know that uh, this card is going to come up in your reviews and your custom flashcards, but you just haven't seen it yet. And so these are some of the changes that we've made to the flashcard browser. And there's more coming. Um, we just had to lay the groundwork, but we hope you enjoy it. We look forward to your feedback in our Discord community, and we'll see you on the next update.